Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we are going to do complete chapter of average for class 5. In this video, we are going to discuss each and every concept related to average. So make sure you watch the entire video. But before starting with this chapter, let me tell you that we have made videos on every chapter of class 5 mathematics. We also have interesting worksheets and quizzes on each chapter. You can find all of them on our channel Learning Notebook. Also, you can see a list of all such videos on our website. The link to our website is below in the description box. So let's start with this chapter and first understand what is the meaning of average. To understand this concept, let's take an example. Suppose a student has secured 90 marks in mathematics and 70 marks in science. Now he wants to know his average score per subject. So here we need to find average. How many subjects do we have here? 2. So to find average, we will just add the marks of both these subjects and divide it by 2. So we will do 90 plus 70 divided by 2. 90 plus 70 equal to 160 and 160 divided by 2 equal to 80. So we have got the average as 80 marks per subject. Now he has got the result of his third subject which is French and he has secured 50 marks in French and again he wants to know his average per subject. So this time again we are going to add the marks of all the three subjects and we will divide it by three because number of subjects have increased to three. So we will do 90 plus 70 plus 50 divided by 3. After adding the marks, we have got 210 divided by 3, which is equal to 70. So students, did you notice that average marks per subject have now changed to 70? Next, let's suppose he has also got the marks for English subject. So now what will we do to calculate the average marks? Yes, this time we will divide the sum of all the subjects by 4. So we will do 90 plus 70 plus 50 plus 90 divided by 4. And we get the sum as 300 and we will divide it by 4 and we get the average marks per subject as 75. So students, in general, we can say average equal to sum of all the given observations divided by number of observations. Now suppose the student gets the marks for Hindi as well and he has secured 75 marks in Hindi. So students now I would like you to calculate the average marks per subject and do write your answer in the 
comment section below. Just to give you a little hint, this time we will divide by 5 as there are 5 subjects. Now let's do some exercise. Question 1 is, a car covered 65 km, 72 km, 68 km, 70 km, 55 km in 5 successive hours. Find the average speed of car per hour. So here students, we have to find the average speed of the car per hour. And we know speed equals to distance covered upon time taken. So average speed will be total distance covered divided by total time taken. And total distance covered will be sum of all these distances. And total time taken is 5 hours. So let's write it as 65 plus 72 plus 68 plus 70 plus 55. Divided by 5. Now let's add them. And we get the sum as 330. Divided by 5. And we get the answer as 66. So average speed of car is 66 km per hour. Let's see the next question. The ages of 5 teachers in a school are 34, 30, 36, 38 and 43 years. Find their average age. So here we are given the age of Five teachers and we have to find their average age. So, first we will add all these five ages and we will divide that sum by number of teachers which is five. So, let's solve it. Average age equal to Sum of ages of teachers divided by number of teachers. So let's add all these 5 ages and divide it by 5. Now by adding these 5 numbers, we get the sum as 181. Let's divide it by 5. Now students, as you can see, the remainder is 1. So we can still continue with the division by inserting a decimal point and a 0. So we have got the quotient as 36.2. So answer is, average age of 5 class teachers is 36.2 years. Let's move to next question. Find the average of all odd numbers between 20 and 40. So let's first understand this question. Here, first we need to find the odd numbers between 20 and 40. 
and then we will add all those numbers and divide it by number of odd numbers so let's see how to solve it so let's first write the odd numbers so odd numbers between 20 and 30 are 21 23 25 26 27 And twenty nine, and odd numbers between thirty and forty are thirty one, thirty three, thirty five, thirty seven, and thirty nine. So these are all the odd numbers between twenty and forty. How many are these? Count them. These are ten odd numbers. So now we have got all the information. So let's find the average. We will add all these ten odd numbers and divide that sum by number of odd numbers, which is ten. Now, by adding these ten numbers, we get the sum as three hundred. Let's divide it by ten. Cancel zero by zero, and we get the answer as thirty. So average of all odd numbers between twenty and forty is thirty. Let's do another question. Find the average of first six multiples of four. So here, students, first we need to find the first six multiples of four, and then we will add them and divide them by total number of multiples. So first six multiples of four are four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. And twenty-four. Now to find their average, let's add all these six multiples and divide the sum by number of multiples, which is six. By adding these six numbers, we get the sum as eighty-four. Let's divide eighty-four by six, and we get the answer as fourteen. So average of first six multiples of four is fourteen. If you still not have subscribed to our channel, Learning Notebook, then do subscribe it, and make sure to press the bell icon. Let's do a different question now. Find the average of one by two, one by three, one by four, and one by six. So here, students, we have to find the average of four fractions. So let's solve it. We know average equal to. Sum of all the given observations divided by number of observations. So we will first add all these four fractions, and then divide that sum by four, which is number of fractions. So let's first add these fractions. But students. These are unlike fractions. So first, we will have to find their LCM to convert them into like fractions. So we will find the LCM of their denominators: two, three, four, and six. Let's first divide them by two. Then we will divide them by Three, and finally we will divide them by two. 
सो एलसीएम ऑफ देयर डिनोमिनेटर्स इज 2 मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 3 मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 2 व्हिच इज इक्वल टू 12 नाउ we will convert these unlike fractions into like fractions by converting their denominator equal to 12. So first let's convert 1 by 2 into equivalent fraction of denominator 12. So we will multiply both numerator and denominator by 6. We get 6 by 12. Similarly, let's convert second fraction 1 by 3 into equivalent fraction of denominator 12. So, we will multiply both numerator and denominator by 4. We get 4 by 12. In the same way, let's convert the remaining two fractions into equivalent fractions of denominator 12. So now students, we have converted all the fractions into like fractions. And we can easily add them now. So let's just add their numerators and denominator remains the same as 12. So, 6 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 equal to 15. So, we get the sum as 15 by 12. Let's simplify it by dividing with common factor 3. And we get 5 by 4. Now, students. We know the sum of all these fractions. So, let's find the average. Average equal to 5 by 4 divided by number of fractions which is 4. For those of you who do not know how to solve this type of division, think this fraction 5 by 4 standing on a chair. Now 5 by 4 cannot keep on standing. So when 5 by 4 will sit on the chair, this 4 will become its denominator. So we get 5 divided by 4 into 4, which is equal to 5 by 16. So, average of these four fractions is 5 by 16. Students, do practice such type of questions as these are important from exam point of view. Now, in the end, I am giving you a worksheet for your practice. This worksheet contains questions from all the sections of the chapter which I have just taught you. If you have skipped any of the section, I will suggest you to first understand it and then attempt this worksheet. Do watch my other videos and share my channel and my videos with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.